Alright guys, so if you've been messing with the Holly for a while, you know that as far as learn tables are concerned, it's not cell by cell, it's done in blocks, as shown by the cursor. Um, that's good for getting kind of a rough estimate of where you want to be, but it's under a lot of assumptions, including that your original base table is very smooth. Um, in that there's not large changes to be made going between the cells. So what I've done to sort of create a histogram of sorts like how HP tuners uh, you had that capability in a VCM scanner I created something from a file that was generated for people that use AEM Infinity um, they have a very similar issue. They don't even really have a learn table. They only have closed loop compensation. So this right here is a file, or it's an Excel file that I'm going to share where you can insert your data log. You insert your um, old VE table and then a new VE table is generated and just to show sort of how it works, I'm going to grab my current VE table. I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to go to my data log. And I have a data log here. This was a, a lot of data. I think it was like 40 minutes of driving or so. It's a lot of data to use. So it might take it a second to paste in. There it is. I just go to the new VE table and you can see it's populated. And it has the corrections made from this data log using the um, new estimated new VE. Uh, which from what I can see, I can t sort of tell, the new VE is only calculated when the closed loop status is a 1. If it's a zero, it just goes back to the old um, VE value. So that's kind of what you're looking for. Um, and this will help you get it roughed in. Obviously, it's gonna, it's just a tuning aid. It's not an auto-tune or anything. So uh, let me just show you. I made a little couple of macros here. One to refresh. Um, sometimes when you delete everything, these values won't go away completely. So if you hit refresh, the values will actually go away. Uh, and then copy. So you can copy that really easily. You can paste it. Uh, these arrows here showing that things have been changed. It, it's probably been changed by a few decimal places or a decimal place, and that might be why it shows that. But just pay attention more so to the large changes that you can see with the shading. So you can see that pretty much everywhere in here, large changes were made. And now you can take these numbers and you can kind of, you know, take numbers like here and you can kind of figure out like where exactly it is um, that you want to be. Uh, you could try just smoothing the area um, to get your edges kind of uh, closer. And then you can just work at it little by little. Uh, if you're have, having to make very big changes um, in this table here down at the bottom you have sort of your gain applied VE correction if I really wanted to and if I wanted to do a very rough smoothing um, I could set this to say 150 percent refresh the data copy I'm just gonna undo everything that I did here bring it back to the original table. I'll paste this in. And you can see these are much bigger values and you don't want to do something like that unless you really know what you're doing. Um, just because you could put this way outside of the range where you want to be. So I would recommend maybe first one, first two that you do, you put it in under a um, at a hundred percent and then you just step down the values of that gain from 100 down to say like 25 percent so you can get some really small changes in and then the more you drive the more you update your table the better this is going to get 
um, tolerated uh, actual to target lambda variance pretty much what's your correction factor um, in this case I believe I have this disabled so don't worry about that um, just pay more attention to the new uh, VE applied correction alright if you have any questions uh, let me know